In today's video, we're gonna learn about configuration files for your Xcode project, particularly XC config files. Before we jump into things, hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe also if you're into iOS. Tons of you guys watch but don't subscribe. So I don't wanna be annoying and keep asking, but please hit subscribe. So let's, let's jump right in. So first and foremost, what is a config file? Well, it's a way where you can specify your build settings in a plain text file, and you can specify that file in your project that way, making it easier to A, inspect your settings, but more interesting is you can have a number of different configuration files for different purposes. So let's say you had different build settings amongst release and debug. Let's say you had different build settings amongst um, different flavors of your app. So like a beta, a staging environment, production, et cetera, et cetera. So I've got an Xcode project open here. It's the Rick and Morty app that we've been building for the past several videos on this channel. And we're gonna add a config file to this. So good deal, let's see how to do it. So what we wanna do is we can create it ourselves manually or we can just do it in Xcode. So we're gonna say file uh, new and we want to go and select file. And if you just search for configuration in here, you're gonna get two things. There's a configuration setting file and a store kit configuration. Um, you want the configuration settings file. Um, we can just leave it as uh, config as the name. The important thing here is make sure you have none of your targets selected. Otherwise, Xcode will include this file in your resource bundle, and that's not what you want. Go ahead and add it and save it wherever you want. And just like that, it has created your config file, and you'll see it actually has the .xc config extension. It just doesn't show up in Xcode 14 since extensions are hidden. So cool, so now that we have this here, we have a nice comment and actually gives you a documentation link to learn more about it, but we already know everything, so we're gonna delete that. So I'm gonna paste in here some settings. So in this case, we have only active architecture, um, which is set to yes, and we have macOS deployment target, which is set, set to 11.0. So if you try to run or build your project, I guess in this case, everything should be working fine. And that's because we haven't actually set this config file to be used for our project. So to do so, we're gonna go to our actual top level project here, where we can see all of our settings and the target on the left here. And we wanna specify to use this config file for our project. So I'm gonna select our project here. And at the top, we have this section. The second section is configurations. And you can see here, we can specify our configuration for um, our entire project level, our target by target level, or for a configuration level, right? So in this case, we're gonna say this project is config, this one is config as well. Um, and if you actually come here before adding the config file, like you just won't see anything in this dropdown because Xcode will say, I don't see anything with the XC uh, config extension. So cool, cool, let me just add those. We're gonna hit build. And we should start to see everything is still building. And if we jump into our target now, and if I come into uh, build settings, and we search for our macOS deployment, well, let's see if I can find it, deployment target. Let's see if I can find 11.0. So you'll see here macOS is set to 11.0. Now what you could do is you could change it here. So if I change it to, let's say we change it to 11.2, it's a little difficult to, to see here, but you'll see that this row is now bold. And essentially what that is Xcode doing is it's telling you that you're overriding whatever value it's picking up from the config file. So just some food for thought, when you have a config file, don't mess around in um, both places, right? Like you either want to define the setting in your config file and read it from there, inheriting any other settings, or you wanna override it here. So just to showcase a different example, so here we have 11.0. Um, let me change this, let's see what else is in here. I think the highest is 13.3, so let me make it 13.0, and I'll show you how to reset that. So I'll make this 13. We'll just do a command S to make sure it's saved. And we'll come back here and you'll see that it's still set to 11.2, but if I indeed hit backspace on it, it'll revert to what it's picking up from our config file. Um, and just as an example to call this out, if it's not clear, I just made these two entries in here since they're fairly simple, but you can actually specify all build settings. And I actually have a video for a great reference 
where you can learn about every single build setting in here, what the values are, what's available, and what the heck they should be used for. So those are config files for your build settings in Xcode in a nutshell. Before clicking away, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let me know if you've used these in the comments. They're really popular when you're working at a larger company because it helps you uh, more easily inspect these settings versus you know rummaging around in the pbproj file. Um, so yeah, let me know. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next video.